Jen here and I'm joining Crystal again today for an off the board layout. Crystal is doing a full month of layouts and projects where she's picking things off of her Pinterest boards and actually using them. So sketches and scrap lifting and some home projects, just anything that she's been accumulating on those Pinterest boards like we all do and she is bringing 30 days of Pinterest projects. So uh, a few of us are joining in on the fun. I don't think anyone else is doing the full 30 days, but there are quite a few of us that are jumping in here and there to play along. So I will leave Crystal's link down below, Crystal at Pineapple Papers, and you guys should go and check her out because she is really doing an amazing job. She's like, what, almost halfway through the month now? and uh, her layouts and projects have been fantastic. So go check her out. Now, for my second project, at the minute that Crystal mentioned doing Pinterest, I immediately thought of quotes. If you guys are anything like me, then you have tons and tons and tons of quotes that you have pinned on Pinterest, and they just sit there. You don't do anything with them. Um, you just collect these beautiful words. So I really wanted to make sure that I took some time to go through my different quotes and find something that I could use during this series. And I really need to make this something that I do often, I think, because you know I struggle with titles and these are the perfect way to find titles, song lyrics, uh, you know, quotes from your favorite people, whatever it might be to use on layout. So I don't know why when I'm pinning all of these quotes, I'm not also making a point of writing some of them down and getting them onto layouts. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm using a quote for this cute little layout that I have of my two nieces. This is from last summer. I was just playing around, doing their hair did some French braids and stuff in their hair, and there's no story necessarily to these photos. They're just super cute little girls that love having their hair done, and so I thought the Wild Child Collection from Pink Paisley is perfect for this because it has those unicorns and all kinds of fun little uh, icons and the rainbow colors and just everything that little girls love. <laughs> so I picked a couple of stickers and a couple of ephemera pieces and then that beautiful cloud paper. I cut it so that I cut off most of the blue because I wanted to keep a lot more of the pink. And um, now I'm just gonna put my quote down. So I went through all of my flat alphas. I couldn't find a blue alpha. I. I don't have a ton of thickers, so my options were fairly limited, but I did find a bunch of pinks. I found some Simple Stories pink, and I found some teal ones, and light blue, and there's black, and there's white. I think those black ones and white ones come from Stampin' Up, and then the little kind of scripty pink ones, the very light pink ones, those are just from Walmart, and then those beautiful kind of scripty ones from Pinkfresh Studio to write out the word magical. So I think in the end this came together pretty well. I didn't really plan out how I was going to make all the words fit together, so uh, it just kind of worked the way it worked. I was limited a little bit by what words I could actually spell with the different fonts that I had. And I just, I just winged it. So there you go. <laughs> and then I wanted to add a little bit of glitter. So I have these freckled fawn stickers. Those are, oh, those just, they never end. I've got so many of them. So I added some white and blue dots. And again, the blue doesn't really match. None of these colors I find really match. They're all just kind of in that same spectrum of rainbow, um, pretty pastel kind of colors and so I'm totally fine with that. I don't think that things have to match perfectly. If I had fonts from this collection, I would definitely pick those and mix it into the stuff that, that I used and all my little bits and pieces, but you know, you, you go with what you have. 
So I added those stickers you can see there. I added that rainbow down at the bottom. And that's it. I'm all done. This was so fun to do and it's just really pretty and cute. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. And go and check out Crystal because she is on a roll right now. Until next time, happy scrapping. Bye.